Just 48 miles from the plaza in Santa Fe on State Road 63 is the Torero General Store. Going back nearly 70 years, this store along the Pecos River has been the long-standing final stop for campers and fishermen before entering the Pecos wilderness. I popped in to chat with the owner, Huey, and his friend, Ed. I know there's a lot of history that went down in this area, in this valley, so can you kind of give me a brief overview of how Pecos became this, you know, this getaway? All of this country for years has been used by different peoples. Mm -hmm. I mean, we go back to the Pueblo at Pecos that was a trading center. As it moves on, you get into the days of the mountain man, Kit Carson and all that bunch that trapped and did all the things in here. The railroad goes through Roe, Pecos, Glorieta right there. That was the pass, the mining, the timbering, but also tourism. That's what really helped develop a lot of this country. Well, my grandfather came, came here from Pennsylvania back in 1906 came down to this canyon in 1908, started building a dude ranch. They had a buckboard, which is a, a horse-drawn buggy, and they'd pick the guests up at the train station in Glorietta. But at that time, when people came to the ranch, they came to stay for weeks and months. Several guest ranches developed in the canyon up here. You had Los Pinos, Mountain View, Trace Lagunas, Irvins, Valley Ranch, Martins, which is now Cow Creek Ranch on, on the other side. But there was a, a lot of them that lasted. We've got 100 years. 100 years yeah. still running and doing the same thing and folks are still coming. Still coming to it and, and still enjoying the destination. So what, what role did like Torero play in the midst of all that? There was a mine here, a mine that actually opened up access to this country tremendously. They built the road, mm -hmm. they built the bridges, which my grandfather hated because he said it ruined his business. Oh, right. the, the automobile, people didn't come and stay anymore. They wanted a, an overnighter. I guess when you had to like actually work to get here, you stayed here. My dad said the, the demise of the guest ranch was air conditioning. <laughs> they could have air conditioning at home. They didn't have to get out of the heat and leave. So then my mom and dad built the original store here in 1943. We started the packing operation of sure. taking people into the wilderness. It's just folks wanted to get out of town, get back and touch yeah. the ground again, you know? Mm -hmm. so that's what's really neat about the Pecos Wilderness, the 300,000 acres of wilderness that's being preserved in its natural state. No power lines, no telephones, even right here at the store. You walk out there right now and turn your damn cell phone on, it ain't gonna work. <laughs> you know, so, that's on purpose. So once you start up this canyon, you're walking back. Mm, right. You're, you're reaching back. There's no doubt about that. You're a world removed when you make it up this far up the canyon. And after all, that's the point. Disconnect to reconnect.